Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a video editorial for the problem oil extortion function taken from Spodge. So the problem is very easy. Uh, we are given t uh, q queries each time. We are, we are given an integer n, and we have to print phi of n, which is oil extortion function uh, of n, etf of n. So if we take an example, there are five test cases. First. If you have no idea about uh, oil illustration function or phi function, uh, first go into my number theory playlist and check out the lectures on oil illustration function first because I'm not going to explain that here. And how to calculate that, I have explained that already in that video, uh, in those lectures. So make sure you have wa uh, watched those videos or you already know how to calculate oil illustration function. So five test cases, phi of one is one, phi of two is one, 5, 3 is 2, 5, 4 is 4 and 5, 5 is 4. So basically we have to print in each test case 5 of n. So we are given t test cases in each test case we are given n. So what we would do we would simply print 5 of n. That's all. And how do we calculate? Uh, in the previous lecture already I have explained that uh, phi of n can be calculated in square root of n time and that is what we are going to do here so we initialize result with n and for each prime divisor of n If n is divisible by i, of course, i is the prime divisor of n. In that case, result would be divided by i, and result would be uh, would be multiplied with i minus one. And while n is divisible by i, we keep dividing i. That's and finally, if n is greater than one. It means n itself is a prime number, the remaining n, because each time we were dividing n. So in that case also, result first we would divide the result with n, and then we multiply the result with n minus one, and finally the result is the phi of n. So. We shouldn't get any error. This is the problem. A link to the problem I'll be posting in the description of the video. And these are the test cases. Five. Oh come on. Oh sorry. Yeah. We haven't read. Yeah, we haven't. Okay. Each time we are not reading. And sorry. Now there are five test cases. For one, it's one. For two, it's one. For three, it's two. For four, it's for four, it's three, which is wrong because for four, it is two. So maybe, so maybe I'm making mistakes. Oh, sorry, less than equals two. And finally, they should work. For one is one, for two it's one, for three it's two, for four is two, for five it's four. Three. Okay, now let's submit the solution. It's too easy. I don't think we should we would get any error. Okay. Okay, accepted. So this is how we solve this problem. I didn't went through the theory because I have already explained this in in my uh, illustration function lecture video in number theory playlist. So this was all how we solve this problem. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any query, just post it down in the comments. So thank you. Until the next video drops, keep coding. Thank you.